Is this thing on? Yep. Now it is. Uh, I just got a package in the mail earlier today. I'm going ahead and doing a unboxing. I've done uh, cut it open, so I've done unboxed it already. But I just thought I'd do a unboxing of it. So if anybody wants to see like what's inside of it or something like that, maybe that way you can know what you're getting when you actually buy it. It'll cost you 40 bucks plus $2 shipping, free shipping in the U.S. If you buy the uh, standard edition, they count the extra goodies and all that stuff. So uh, this is also a return to uh, me doing um, unboxing videos. I've not done one in over two and a half years now. So um, without further ado, Let's get this uh, unpackaged and see what kind of anime goodies that I've got inside this. It's an old anime from 1990-something uh, uh, by the same guy that wrote uh, the manga, the Japanese comics of uh, Bean Bandit, a.k.a. Riding Bean, and... Um, Bubblegum Crisis, Bubblegum Crash, except that's a, that's a, the Bubblegum Crash is an anime. It's not a manga, but they're all under the same umbrella of the dude. Kenichi, or I hope I'm not messing his name up, but Kenichi Sonata. Okay, so I'm going to sit the camera down real quick. Toss this shit aside. Blu-ray right here. These are the extra goodies that come with this. And this was sent from the local anime company in my state of uh, North Carolina. Annie Ago, I think that's how you say, by Robert J. Woodhead from Wilmington, North Carolina. Okay, and the anime that this is is called Gunsmith Cats. Okay, it comes with uh, two sticker sheets, they're freebies. You see Raleigh here and Minnie Mae from the anime. Yep, I think, yeah, they're two of the same actual sticker sheets uh, two uh, limited edition postcards one of them signed by Kenichi Sonata I think these were uh, one of these anyway or both maybe were both brand new art pieces done by them just for this uh, exclusive Blu-ray set I don't know if you can see it that well but uh Maybe that way you can get a good look at it. This is the second one. Pretty good artwork. Now on to the uh, Blu-ray itself. This is Gunsmith Cat's Explosive Edition. It's a remaster, a new transfer of the original so, uh, or an HD transfer. Mm -hmm. It's in a pretty good case, too. Solid, clear, see through. Okay. Oh, yeah, about forgot to add that. It comes with a, uh, poster that's got everybody's name on it that um, funded this production for this uh, limited edition Kickstarter. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. This was a Kickstarter thing. 
Okay. See what this amounts to be. Let me flatten this out. Because it comes folded up inside this. I don't know if you can see it that well, but there it is. This is the first side of the Gunsmith Cats Explosive Edition poster. This and this part don't have the names of the Kickstarter backers on it, but this side right here does. It's hard to see though, but if you look real close, if I took a picture of this and uploaded it to Facebook or whatever, if you zoomed in real good or if you had it in front of you, you could see like hundreds of freaking names all over this thing, like swarmed all over it. It's uh, it's measurements. I measured it earlier when I first unboxed it. It's um, shit. Had to do it again. That's why I got this on hand. <laughs> the poster is fourteen inches long. Or no, fourteen inches wide by 17 inches long so it's 14 by 17 I feel like an idiot <laughs> okay and this is the inside of the blu-ray it's on a BD50 dual layer blu-ray disc 50 gigabytes the uh, inside wrap for the Blu-ray case is double-sided. This is the art inside, which is pretty good, but I'll just leave it as it was when I got it. And this is the disc art. I'm not super familiar with Gunsmith Cats, but I love uh, Bubblegum Crisis and Bubblegum Crash. And I've watched Riding Bean, but I need to buy the High Octane remastered version that Amiego put out. So, uh, I've still got to watch this one. I've seen bits and pieces of the original uh, ADV films or AD Vision DVD and VHS clips of it from YouTube and so on, plus the seven C's. So, uh, this might be a one-off unboxing for this year. I don't know if I'll do another one or not. But, I've been wanting to do one for a while, so... <laughs> So this is the end of this uh, unboxing video, Gunsmith Cats Explosive Edition.